Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the third part of question number second. In this case, also you have to find the sum of given. Uh, you have to find the sum of given series, or you can say the given arithmetic progression. And to find out the sum, we have a formula which says 2a plus n minus 1 into d. And there is another formula when the last term is given to you, so you can use. This formula also to find the sum. Here, the n is the number of terms, a is the first term, and l is the last term. So here, the first term is given to you as minus five, and the common difference here is equals to minus three. If you are not able to find out this directly, what you can do is you have to subtract the first term from the second term. So the second term is minus eight, minus, and the first term is minus five. So this is the first term. Uh, sorry, this is the second term, minus eight and minus, and this is the second term. So solving this, this is minus eight, minus minus will be plus. So this will be minus three. So here the common difference is minus three, and the last term is given to you as minus two hundred and thirty, and First of all, you have to find how many terms are there in this AP, where the last term is given to you, and the last term. To find out the last term, we have this formula, and in this case, the last term is given to you as minus two thirty. The first term is minus five. The number of terms you have to find, and the common difference is minus three. Now let's solve this equation. This will remain as it is, minus five. Now you have to open the bracket. For that, you have to multiply three with n. This will give minus three n. Minus minus will be plus, and this will be plus three. Now we have to shift all the constant to one side and all the variable to one side. So this variable can be shifted to this side. Negative will become positive, and this negative when shifted to that side will become positive. Now you have to solve this. This is a plus sign value, and this is also a plus sign value. This will become. And further solving this, two thirty three minus five will be two twenty eight, and this is equals to three n. Now we have to find the value of n. For that, we have to divide two twenty eight by three, and this can be cancelled seven times and six times. So here. There are seventy-six terms in this AP. So there are seventy-six numbers in this AP. Now we have to find the sum. I'm using this formula instead of this because this will make my calculation easier. You can substitute the same values here also, and you will find your n, or you can say the sum of n terms. So the number of terms here are seventy-six by two. The first term is minus five, and The last term is minus two thirty. Now this can be cancelled. Three two is a six, and eight two is a sixteen, and this is minus two thirty five. Now, if I multiply thirty eight by minus two thirty five, I'll get my answer. Now let's multiply this two thirty five multiplied by thirty eight. So eight five is a Forty. This will be this much. So this will be zero. So the answer will be minus eight nine three zero. This minus will be as it is. So the sum of the series in this case is eight nine three zero. So this is how you can solve this question. If you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel, and if you have any problem in maths, you can contact to us. The phone number and the email address is given below in the description. Thank you.